It's time for Money Moves with Jack Gallagher. You know, I would like to start this week by reminding you that this great country that we call America is built on the basic tenet that you get to choose what you think is right for you. I'm going to have a little patriotic music under there. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, hopefully you think choosing money moves is a smart move, and frankly, I could not argue with that choice. It's all about choice, ladies and gentlemen, and that's why today we come to Fresh Choice. Fresh Choice, a series of restaurants in Washington State, California, and Texas that offer you a variety of foods. For one price, you can stay and eat all day. Look at that. The choices are many, and they are varied, and they're all fresh, and it's all your choice. You know, if you think about it, Fresh Choice, in a nutshell, is America. You don't think so? You'll see. But let's get you some money advice right off the bat, because you're probably hungry for that. Food, fresh choice, hungry for the advice. A little Andy Field appetizer, perhaps, about house warranties. Now, that probably sounds like a good deal, doesn't it? Buy a house, comes with a warranty. What do you got to worry about? No need to have anybody inspect it before you buy it, right? Everything's taken care of. No worries, right? What do you think? I'll tell you what I think. If you were just agreeing with me with all that right stuff, you need to watch this first story. Shaking your head up and down like that. How about that? It pays to be wise. A pound of prevention is worth a... Did you see all these salads? This is incredible, isn't it? Look at these salads. It reminds me of the great heartland of our, of our country. Speaking of great, now would be a perfect time for some great money advice from our friend Jane Bryan Quinn. What would be greater than a smart money move? How about a heap and helping of that? Here's Jane Bryan Quinn. Once again, for Money Moves, here's Jack Gallagher. While we're in the bakery section of Fresh Choice now, sort of like the, the bread basket of this country, isn't it? Look at the choices here, it's unbelievable. Let me know when I've convinced you that being here is like being in America so I can drop all this analogy stuff, will ya? So, you're probably feeling pretty good lately. Taxes have been paid for another year. Maybe you're taking the family out for a treat, big dinner, and you're thinking, I'm not gonna think about taxes for a whole year. Well, that, my friend, would be a giant mistake because as Barkley Todd tells us, I love it when I slip the reporter's name like that into it. Very hostish. Listen, as Barkley Todd tells us, there are things you can do for your taxes all year long that will make paying them at the end of the year a little bit more pleasurable. Here's Barkley. Barkley? Barkley? Never around when you need her. Now, if you have kids, you know that sometimes when you go to a restaurant, you'll pack little bags of stuff for them to eat at the restaurant from home. This is all the stuff you pack at home. You don't have to do that. It's right here. They've already thought of that. This place is kid-friendly. In fact, it's run by kids. The manager's like six. Very brilliant, though. A little precocious. Anyway, let's take a break from all this real money talk for a second. It's time for David Lasso's look at collectibles. This week, David's looking at coins. Never understood why people collect coins. I'm more interested in the paper stuff, but you know what? More paper money for me if people just collect nickels and dimes. Here's David. Did I mention that they have pizza here at Fresh Choice? Well, they do, and I'm having a slice of each. Because just like America, this pizza, this pasta, this clam chowder, that's the last America analogy, I swear. I have a good one for dessert, but I'm not going to use it because I'm running it into the ground. All right, so you're familiar with the phrase, the only two things in life that are certain are death and taxes. Well, here on Money Moves, as you know, we've covered the whole tax thing for you. So prepare to meet your maker. <laughs> I was just kidding. I got you there, didn't I? I saw you flinch at home. What? Looking over your shoulder. No. Pam Kruger has some advice on estate planning. Have you done this? It's simple and you should do it. You should do it if for no other reason than you can say to your friends, yes, I've had the estate planned. Even if you're living in like a studio apartment, you can call it your estate once you have that done. You go watch that, I'm eating pizza. I think we could do every show from this place from now on. We should just live here, just move in. Best thing about finishing your meal here at Fresh Choice is the desserts. Look at this, for all the choices they have in your salads and pastas and muffins, they have dessert choices as well. What is better after a good meal than some sweets? And what is better after a good show than some advice from our investment advisor, Scott Hansen, who answers your questions? If this show were a hot fudge sundae, Scott would be the cherry on the top of the hot fudge sundae, or the whipped cream, or sprinkles, jimmies. Whatever you want on the top of your sundae, that's Scott. Go ahead, I'm gonna give you a second to think about what you like on the top of your sundae. Got it? That's Scott. You know, one of the things about having so many choices is that you get to pick the things that you think are going to be the easiest for you to own and operate. Ease of use. That's the motto I like to live by, at least for the next couple of minutes. That's why I like Fresh Choice so much. You come in, there's everything laid out for you to choose. You get to see everything, exactly what you want, no instructions necessary. 
This can't be said with most other stuff. Most of the things that you buy come with manuals that are so intense it would take you a two-week vacation to get through all of them. And then there are the opposite extremes. I bought a set of headphones once, and there was actually a diagram in the little manual that showed a guy with the headphones over his head and arrows pointing down toward his ears. Okay, this is for the people that were going to wear them on their chest, apparently. But most of the times, the manuals are huge, and I save them way beyond any time I should have them. Like this one. It's for my lawnmower. I think I still have my lawnmower. I think the last time I was at the storage shed, I saw it, although I can't be sure. Here's a... Uh, Manual for my hot tub. Yeah, funny thing is, this isn't made out of waterproof material, but I have two of them, in case the wife and I are fighting over reading about the hot tub. Got one for each of us right there. Oh, there's all different kinds of stuff. Here's one for my TV remote. Take a look at this. Look at that. It'd be easier to just get up and walk over and change the channel. Nah. Here's a shop vac I just bought. This is 48 pages long, this manual. Compare that to this. It's for a blowtorch. The blowtorch, two pages. Shop vac, 48. Somebody is not paying attention. If you get a manual for kids' toys that's way too complicated for you to understand, take the toy back. I have all kinds of manuals. Here's one for an air compressor. I have an air compressor. Don't ask why. Here's one for a drill. Here's one for a saw. Here's one for a stapler. Could anything be easier to use than a stapler? I got the manual. Here's the manual for my furnace. At what point do you think I'm going to say to the wife, I'm going to go down and take the furnace apart? And I could if I wanted to because every single one of these manuals has an instruction as to how to take the individual thing apart. <sighs> I know what you're thinking. Why don't you just throw them away? For the same reason you don't throw them away. Because as soon as I do, something's going to go wrong and somebody's going to say, get the manual. Well, that's it for this week. We hope you enjoyed yourself, and we hope you learned a little something. We'll see you next week on Money Moves. Until then, you're in charge of your own money, so try and be an adult about it. <laughs>